I think I'm going to run Durango versus Titan, actually. Durango versus Titan sounds like one that, um... But then again, wait. I don't know how that's... Hmm. Hold on, then, because... Let me look at the PI difference. So, Dodge... Uh, Dodge, Durango, SRT is an A709. And the Nissan Titan Warrior is a D... Oh my god! Alright, yep, yep, nope, that'll actually work. That'll actually work really well. Alright, off to buy a new Dodge Durango! I dig the, like, off-red. It's almost like a... It's, it's weird, it's like a deep red. Taxi versus PLP50. Please, Tamcat. <laughs> yes, that is, uh, that's actually, I mean, it's, it's on the table. We could do it. All right. Will this thing allow launch mode stock? Mm, not really. Yes, it will. There we go. You just have to launch it differently. Off the jump, a little bit sideways, but that's okay. It's quick! Wow, 121 stock. That's really good. That's really good, and it's really impressive. Alright, boosted launch. Three, two, one, go! Let it rip as much as it... As much as it can. Wow, these gears are really far apart. I'm trying to keep it in the proper torque band because it's a diesel. You just had to get in my way, little RS, didn't you? Little focus RS. You just had to get, like, pull out right in front of me, didn't you? I'm gonna miss you real quick. Come on! 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 95. All right, 95. That that works. Let's see. Um, Roadkill was like my beamer's in the game, right? I mean, I mean, yeah. Like, it's like mine. I haven't actually rebuilt mine in game yet. I I, I would actually really like to do that. Um, so now we gotta head back to the house, build this thing up, and see what it could do. Wow, it's so weird with the, all the icons back because I had most of them off. Needs more power. Yeah, I know. We only went, like, 95 miles an hour. I know it needs more power, dude. Like, I, I know it needs more power, bro. All right. Let's see what we can do here. I mean, I'm probably not going to do a ton of, like, visual stuff to this truck, but I know I'm definitely going to do um, some power mods. So, what's the PI range we're shooting for? Um, let's go check in on that again, because I want to make sure we get it right. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Where's dodge? Oh my god, I'm missing... There it is. Wow, it was literally right next to me. Um, <clears throat> 709. A709. Cool. So, head straight to the shop. We got a lot of room here. So, let's open this engine up! The turbo should give us a good bit, like the race turbo. Plus 421 horsepower! Woo! Alright, A701, A703, 709 is the, uh, 709 is the cap. Um, so let's see. Let's see, yeah, that's a bit of a boost. Like, Roadkill was like, that's a bit of a boost. It is. It is a bit of a boost. It's a bit more of a boost than I would have expected, but... Um, let's see. Rally, so that just unlocks suspension tuning, so if I ever want to come back and do anything there. 707, 720. So we can do street weight reduction, and that's about as close as we're gonna get. That's about as close as we're gonna get, boys. So let's get it over there. Let's let it rip. Oh, crap. I forgot to look and see how much power it was making. It's okay. I'll use the telemetry for that. Like, I'll just floor it on the main road out here, and we'll see what it's actually making. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to beat it, too. I'm pretty sure I'm going to beat it, too. Uh, let's see. Funko F9 stock versus Alancia Fulvia. Uh, that might be doable. Mm -hmm. 
So like, okay, yeah. 1,445-ish foot-pounds of torque. Freaking nuts. I mean, the horsepower is irrelevant when your torque is that high. Like, because it's going to be, the torque is going to be higher in a big diesel like this. Yeah, 90 pounds of boost. Stupid. That's why it adds over 400 horsepower to the truck. That's why. 100% why. All right, I'm going to launch it in second because diesel torque. And you are, like, are you seriously going to do that? Get out of here. Get out of here. All right. Stop right there. Go. I'm going to shift it at, like, three. Try to keep it in the torque band. Oh no, I slowed myself down. I need to stay away from the fence. That fence will destroy your run. And 130. So, not bad. Not actually, it's weird. It's actually not that much faster than I was expecting it to be. Like... Yo, if that would have landed in the truck bed, that would have been brilliant. Um, let's see. Um, somebody was asking, when is the next, um, bully the Fiesta ST and it will haunt you later. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Hotshot says, um, says, see you later. I have to go to work. Thank you for tuning in, by the way, dude. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you so much for hanging out, genuinely. Um, this thing was actually really close. That was a close battle, and it was a good matchup, and I really appreciate um, the, uh, the person that suggested it. That was a good, good battle. Um, let's see, what's next? What's next? I wanna do the, I wanna do the F9 versus something. Um, what should I race the F9 against? So a stock F9 against what? Oh, Broadkill used 25,000 sparks. Holy crap. It's like a battle going on in the chat. A freaking spark battle. Unfortunately, this thing seems to run out of gear pretty quick. So that's going to be, I think, the only place where the Exoset will have a chance. Because we're going to be able to modify the gearing in that. But not in this thing. Oh, we got another train. And another 25,000. Boy. Do I have Fortune Island? Yup. Oh my god. This battle's getting nuts. Cormag used 50,000. Boys. Y'all are nuts and I love it. What the heck? Thanks for that, boy. Alright, let's see. Roadkill hit another 10,000 with the, like, like, dolphin dog thing. Okay. Uh, it's like a dolphin corgi mix. I don't even know what it's supposed to be. All right. So let's see this thing. I had a launch. Only problem is it's got so much power that it just spins it all away. Like, it's always on the rev limiter. This thing is never not on the rev limiter. 